Hey there, Saints. I'm Elsie. And I'm Natalie. This is Sports. Again, track went to Sock Rapids Mega Meet, and both girls and boys teams took third. There were some excellent performances by junior Brenna Donley taking second with a personal record in the 100, and Jenny Wine Matthews taking first with a personal record in the 100 as well. Both girls 4x100 and 4x200 got first with personal records. Breaking the meet record was Amanda Anderson, one discus with the throw of 146 feet 1 inch. Lauren and Reyna went out to get more information. This is my fifth year in track. And what do you do in the off season? Uh, I do a lot of weightlifting and volleyball. Um, what was the record before you beat it, and what did you get? Uh, it was 136 feet before, set in 1995, and I threw 146. Um, what do you do to prepare for a meet? Uh, I just I don't have any like specific things. I just hang out with the throwers, and the day before, I usually do an explosive workout. Uh, it feels good. I hope I can improve it even more next year. Um, and how do you think the rest of your season will go? Uh, I hope it goes well. I hope I can improve even further and do well at state. Uh, Amanda's had a great year. Uh, her improvement from last year, she kind of came on at the end of last year, had her best throw at 142 last year at the end of the season, but uh, she had an unbelievable off season. Uh, she's went to a bunch of throwing camps all winter long. Um, she goes to down the University of Minnesota uh, every Sunday, pretty much all winter long, and threw down there with them, and it's really shown this year, and that's why she's had the success that she is. Uh, biggest strength is she is uh, driven. Uh, she has a goal. Uh, she wants to be probably the best thrower she could easily be, but uh, she also keeps an eye out on what everyone else is doing in the state, so she's always competing against everyone else, even though they might not be at a, our same meet together. Does she have anything she needs to overcome? Uh, she needs to be patient and not reali or realize that she's not going to throw a PR every single throw, including practice. How is she a team leader? Uh, she just does everything by uh, example, and she's there to help each other out. Uh, our thrower crew is a pretty good supporter of the team, um, but they really push each other and help each other out as much as they possibly can, and Amanda's a big part of that. Do you think Amanda will make it to state this year? Uh, yeah, Amanda should make it to state. Uh, I think her goal is not to make it to state, her goal is to win state. In other track news, there was team sections at Cambridge Tuesday and Amanda threw her personal record in discus with a throw of 152 feet 7 inches and now currently has the best distance in the state of Minnesota this year. Also at the meet, Genuine Matthews broke the another school record this year in the 200 meter dash with a time of 22-11. Boys golf had a meet at Purple Hawk Golf Course in Cambridge. Leading the team was Brady Arsdorf with his round of 75. The team finished fourth place. Yesterday they had their conference meet also at Cambridge and results are posted online. Today, girls golf has an invitational at Bunker Hills Golf Course. Softball had a game Monday against North Branch and won with a score of 10-3. An outstanding performance was Kylie Marshall with her first home run of the season, which was a grand slam and later a solo home run as well. Tuesday they had a game against Princeton and won 6-1. The Saints were led on the mound by Amanda Kishish, throwing the complete game. Offensively, the Saints were led by third baseman Haley Heckenleibel, going 2-3 two and three with two singles, two runs scored, one walk, and one RBI. Today, they go up to play North Branch again this week. Baseball had a home game Tuesday against Princeton and won 1-0. Today, they also go up to North Branch for a doubleheader with softball. This brings us to this week's Athlete of the Week, Max Spitzer. Max is a competitor. Max comes every day to practice and works hard. Um, Max comes to the games um, ready, focused and ready to play. Um, kid's just a winner. Uh, so far this season, I think I've hit nine doubles, and that's a lot more than Hunter Troutman. Uh, Spitz is doing pretty good. I mean, he hasn't had a nigger yet, but he got close this weekend about three times, and he's doing real well. We played uh, 
Elk River and he hit really good. Went two for two, I think, at least. Other than that, he's just fun to be around. Max is having a good season. He's doing pretty well overall. I think he's batting like 438. And um, last weekend at the um, St. Cloud tournament, he was five for eight with five doubles and like three RBIs. Uh, Max is actually doing really well. He's uh, hitting four in our lineup. And he's got a pretty good batting average this year. He's hitting over 400. And he's got a lot of long warning track doubles. Good memories, probably the uh, St. Cloud bus ride home on Friday. The bus ride home on Friday was, that was a good time. Probably one of the funnest memories I'll have. My favorite memory other than the many taco nights that I've shared with Max Spitzer is probably our bus ride home from St. Cloud. If I'm going to be completely honest, I'm about half Spitzer right now. My favorite part of the season would have to be the bus ride back from the St. Cloud game. It was, it was a really good good time, a lot of team bonding going on. Um, my, any special memories from Max this season would be um, the first week when he cut his hair. Um, I personally was very disappointed that he cut his hair, um, but you know I, I can tell he's having a good season, so it was probably a good choice. Watching him play is beautiful. He is a finesse player, which you wouldn't really believe because of his size. Because he's just a great power hitter. Our, my hopes for the rest of the season are get a get a 500 record or above. Uh, hopefully make a run at state, you know, in sections. Great teammate, great team leader, and he's just all around a great person, great friend, family member. Tuesday, boys tennis had a home match against Cambridge that was postponed to a later date. Today, they are off to Mora High School, and you can find their results online. This year, the St. Francis Athena Award recipient was Sammy Skatovich. She's a multi-sport athlete in soccer and basketball. Mason went out to get more information. The Athena Award program is uh, to recognize the top female athlete in each school. Um, it's based on basically just athletics and academics. Um, Sammy is a terrific leader, one of the better competitors we've ever had. Um, if you watch her play soccer or basketball, she gives everything she has every minute that she's on the field or on the court and she's just a good representative as a great kid good leader um, good with her teammates and really a good representative for St. Francis High School as our Athena Award winner. Well what I liked is that uh, you know she she's been on our soccer team since seventh grade so she's a six-year letter winner in soccer. Um, she has gotten better every year um, this year, our soccer, our girls' soccer team advanced to the section finals for the first time, and she was a, a key piece to our team as far as leadership, and also she just played exceptionally well as we went through our tournaments and kept getting better. Same can be said for basketball. She got better and better throughout the year. She had her best games in the tournaments as she went along, and, and that's you know really key for a kid to keep improving all the way through their senior year. I have been uh, Sammy's uh, girls basketball coach for the past uh, three seasons. Uh, I participated in soccer and basketball. I was on the soccer team since seventh grade and basketball since eighth grade. Uh, Sammy has just been, it's been an absolute honor to have the opportunity to coach Sammy. Um, she's one of those players who just makes everybody else on the team better with her, her great work ethic, her great team attitude, and uh, her ability to do whatever we ask of her to help the team become successful. Uh, she's very hardworking. Um, she's a great student athlete. Uh, she's a great teammate, you know, and she is she is a multi-sport athlete, which is another one of the requirements that she's also in, in soccer. And, and uh, like I said before, it's just been an absolute honor having the opportunity to coach her the past the past three seasons. When I made my transition here to St. Francis, it's been it's been real real fun having the opportunity to coach Sammy. Award. I was really honored. I mean, I was around like the best athletes in Minnesota, so. It was a really cool experience. I sat next to a girl from Shakopee, Andover, Fidley, and Osseo. It was just cool to like hear about their experiences and their accomplishments and everything. You know, there's there's all kinds of different, you know, or really good qualities that she has. And, you know, I think this another thing that she does with, you know, I talked about, she not only makes her teammates better, she helps our whole program in general. Um, become successful because you know she's willing to willing and eager to work with all the younger players in our program 
And I remember like for some of our Saturday morning basketball um, uh, camps that we run with our, with our youth kids, you know, the, the young kids just, they, they really enjoy working with Sammy. And she's such, she works so well with, with those kids as well. And that's just uh, the, one of the, the great attributes that she brings uh, to our program. To all dancers, there are captain's practices after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays until the end of the school year. That's all we have for you this week, Saints. Make sure to watch the news broadcast tomorrow.